Nigeria's inflation rate stood at 33.2 percent wow as of april and nigerians continue to pay through their noses for food many have called on bola Tenembu to rejig his economic policies opposition have always matched the hardship to hit the president on occasions like holiday celebrations and others the hardship in the country the biting effect of bad government policies and poor governance have dampened the hopes of most Nigerians. Peter B said last Christmas he has repeated it time and again. No particular Tenubu's policy irritates OB as such. Although the Labour Party presidential Wanabe has complained about policy inconsistency in import duty jacking up the inflation rate, Tenubu's 2024 budget also seems too big on consumption. What could Obi have done differently if he had won the 2023 presidential election? Not a lot, considering their manifestos, Obi's manifestos and what the Tenobu government is tinkering with now align in so many ways. And the two politicians can even end up saying nothing on specific issues like anti-corruption. Obi promised to make budgeting more accountable. Tenobu has set up a body for that as well. Will be promised to reduce the cost of governance, including adopting the Oro Sae report. Tinubu has stopped MDAs and overseas trips, and he has already he has ordered the implementation of the Pane report, CBN reform, including safeguarding the way and means resort from executive abuse. The APS Bank order Tinubu has licensed the boarding it carried and vowed never to hand its vote to the presidency like the ban's past leadership did. Obi Forest Policy says his administration will only support measures which ensure a level playing field and are in line with global best practices. Nothing could be closer to floating the Naira that has unleashed inflation in Tinubu's administration. Revenue generation in Obi's manifesto means lens on tax reform. Likewise, Tinubu's the only difference is Obi promised to make the federal government rely on tax revenue state generates. Obi promised to focus on digital economy, stimulate the production sector with incentives. President Inubu asked a young entrepreneur as minister of digital economy. So to them, to you, that is production for you. The government has also launched three entrepreneurial incentives through the Bank of Industry, the funds add up to 200 billion naira. will be also promised as a major manifesto trust the exploration of agriculture to shift the economy from consumption to production tinubu launched his administration's agricultural extension policy early on early on in this in his tenure anti-corruption agenda the article of three of obi's manifesto mentions to aggressively fight corruption but obi didn't state how this will happen Differently from what has been, and Tinubu has simply watched the EFCC and the ICPC frisk whoever they choose. So, why is it that they are always using Obi as a comparison? They don't even use an article. It's all about Obi. Obi is like Obi is even the government or the uh, in a president or a government who is really the headmaster of uh, Tinubu's government because it's always on their neck. And they are always coming for him. They are running Tinumbu and Obi are running the Nigerian government, you know, side by side. Okay, because they cannot sleep without a Obi, and he has been coming out with a lot of a, a lot of a solutions to the problems that a Tinumbu and his people have created for themselves, which they don't even know how to go about it. But because of a selfish interest, they don't really want to do the right thing. But the question is that are they trying to subject or they are trying to justify Tinubu's bad policies? Because they will tell you that even if Atiku or Obi had been the president, that they wouldn't have done different things from from uh, uh, what Tinubu is doing. And I don't really agree with that because I think in this uh, particular report, they are not even talking about, uh, oh, he says he's going to remove subsidy. They didn't mention that. Maybe they forgot that. So why are you comparing yourself with Obi? You built Lagos. So they are asked, they are 
accepting that Etinubu has really failed. But how did he not build the Lagos? Where is the Lagos he built? So why are you always comparing yourself with Obi? Obi is not there. So, and the manner at which Obi is going to do it, it's not going to be the same. Obi will not be taking his children to a uh, official meeting outside the country. Obi will not be lining up his student. Obi will not be giving. Obi does not give. Doesn't give bribe. Obi is not uh, as corrupt as a uh, Tinubu. You can argue with your keyboard. You know it. The baggages that uh, Tinubu has. Of, of course, maybe if you say nobody is perfect, you want to say oh, Obi has uh, this baggage. It's always all about a uh, propaganda that uh, they are talking about Obi. If he has baggages, let's even assume nobody is perfect. But can you compare it with uh, that of a uh, Tinubu? But thank God, even Ononuga who said Obi was given land, he took land from a Anambra state government when he was a governor. Well, at the end of the day, later deleted it that it was not true. But where and a lot of allegations that they are levied against him, which one has it come out? You, you, you see Obi carrying bullion vans. Did Obi share dollars during the primaries? Now they are crying and they say there's no dollar that Nigerians, Nigerians with say $2,000, $1,000, they are the ones creating problems. They say, oh, it was being as seen now at the end of the day. No, it is the same. And anything corruption, you know, we don't even want to go there. But because I don't know why they are telling us that uh, Obi wouldn't have done things differently, which is a fallacy and propaganda. And it's arrant nonsense trying to use Obi to justify incompetence. The writer of this article must be very high on drugs, honestly speaking. <laughs> he stated the fact. Which fact did he state? Talk is cheap. It would have been worse under Peter Obi. New Nigeria in Anambra State. Really? Well, such a look you. A milukon. Okay. Unado. Unado. Tinubu is a disgrace to the entire country. And he will never rule again after his first tenor. Obi would have done better because foreign investors would have trusted his sincerity. Obi knows us very well. They know who and who is corrupt.